Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I've got my diesel heater. I got off eBay. Just turned up. Um, I'm going to do a bench test, check that she works. And the installation will be in the second part. So this part, guys, is simply just to hook it up. I'll show you how they connect up. Check it all out. I'm going to put it in my caravan, but I've just got to find out where. But anyway, guys, um, I'll show you the stuff that's come out of the box. Okay, guys, my diesel heater has arrived from eBay. Now, this is one of them cheapies. I'll be doing a bench test video. Right, so this will be two parts. This is going to be a bench test. I'm going to hook it up to check that it works and give you an idea how they hook up. I'm only learning myself, so apparently they don't have very good instruction manuals, but this one seems pretty good. So I'll leave a link below on which diesel heater I purchased with the seller and the actual item. This one seems pretty... Yeah, some people say that they don't have very good instructions, but this one seems to be... Yeah. Anyway, I'll have a bit of a read. Um, so you got your fuel tank. I think this is a yeah, 15 litre fuel tank. There's your mounting plate. Okay, that's the fuel pump, dousing pump, whatever they call it. Okay, got an exhaust silencer, you've got the fuel line. That is the exhaust. Now I've got the con that's the control panel and we've got a remote. Okay, now there's the air intake that goes in from the bottom. I think I have to buy an air filter. I don't think the air filters that come with these are much good, but I'll check it out and I'll let you know what I come up with if I get one. There's a T-piece, I don't think I'll use that because I'm only gonna have one outlet for the heat. This one has two outlets by the look of it. So there's a T-piece, it comes out and branches into two, but I'm just probably gonna use just the one. Uh, the wiring harness. Heap of assorted hose clamps. Uh, I've got another bag full of goodies in there. I'd say... Anyway guys, I will um, do an install video, but that'll be in the second part. And there's the box that came in. That, that the heater was in here. I mean, you get the idea, pull it out of the box, and there it all is there. Okay guys, I just fired it up. This is just the test. Now she works. The fuel's just coming through now. But this is basically how it's set up. There's your fuel, right? Into your filter. Okay. The fuel pump's gotta be mounted, say, around 45 degrees in this little holder thing. Takes the vibration out. Bit of a ticking sound. She's just starting to fire up now. The fuel's just going through. Now, guys, you can't run these pumps dry. Make sure you suck the fuel up. So suck the fuel up here. Just get your mouth and suck it through. Don't run this dry for too long. I think she's firing up now, I can hear it. Okay, guys, she's in full action now. She's going. Okay, here it is, here's the fuel. Sucking the fuel up. Okay, from the fuel filter of the pump. Going through. It takes in air here. So this is inside the caravan, inside your vehicle. Okay. That's the floor of your vehicle. And which of them pipes you're looking at, that'll be under your caravan or under your motorhome, whatever it may be. Okay, there's the exhaust. And there's your air intake. And then your hot air comes out here. And that's coming out quite hot, guys. That's quite warm. So this would be naturally inside the caravan. Okay, so this will be under the bed. And this will come out, and it'll come out as an air vent. As I'll show you in the installation when I actually put this in. 
Now guys, all the plugs. It's pretty simple, guys. I've never done this before in your life. They, they plug into each other, it's pretty obvious. I'll do a measurement of the um, temperature. And that is, that's pretty hot, guys. It's 90 degrees Celsius. That is pretty hot. I couldn't leave my hand there. Yeah, no way in the world. I can't leave my hand there for more than a second. So if you've got little kids, you probably want to be aware of that. It's so not a bad little bloody unit, it performs pretty well. I can't wait to get it in the van. And that's the fuel I've used so far. It's been running now for uh, nearly 10 minutes. I'll give you a measurement of the exhaust. Pretty hot. <laughs> that's the exhaust, guys. 58 degrees, it's pretty odd. It's got its own built-in fuse. There is a 15 amp fuse on this unit. Okay, but I'll probably just cut this out. I've got a fuse box in the caravan and I'll use my own existing fuse and put a 15 amp on it. And that's what they got in here. Okay, so there's a positive. You need a negative connection, right? And then your, your plugs, like I said, they are pretty obvious how they connect. Each plug is different shape. So you've got one, you've got two, you have the third connection here, and that is it. So I reckon it's quite simple. The instruction manual isn't the greatest. Um, I had a closer look at it and it's not the best. Okay guys, this time I've, I've hooked up a um, meter to give you an idea of how much power they draw, these things. All right, I'm gonna switch it on. Here we go, we'll trust your remote. Okay, so this thing's been running. The first time you're gonna bleed all the fuel through. But like I said, bleed through, just don't run this dry for too long, guys, because this relies on diesel to lubricate inside. We'll switch it on. Remote, and we'll see. Okay, she's on. Now I've got a flat out on the five hertz. Now here you go, here's the meter. So this is the gauge here, watching guys, this is the amps here. 4.7 so far, so I've got the five amps. I think these draw roughly, yeah, eight to 10 amps, I've heard but I'm about to find out for myself. Now we'll actually see what this thing runs on when it's actually just purring along. These use a lot of power when they start up, like it's when they draw their current, because I'd say the heat glow plug's heating up now. Okay, it started pumping. The pump started pumping. Okay, she's fired up. You can feel the temperature now. Combustion started. And it's using now, okay, almost eight and a half amps. It'll take a little bit to start off. As I said, I'm gonna get a, a decent air filter. I'm just worried about that because the little bug or insect gets sucked in there. It's going to cause you problems. So I'm going to get a different type of filter. Because I wouldn't say that's a filter. It's just like an intake silencer, is what they call it. Okay, the exhaust is starting to get warm. And the amps. So it's around 7.5 amps now. So the glow plug's heated up. It's getting louder. And the amps will drop down. Okay, so obviously the glow plug's heated. She's fired. So around two amps, guys. But I'll come back to that. 
when she's actually fully going. Sleep warm at the moment. It's warmish. These things on low use around 150 milliliters in an hour, I reckon. I'm guessing. And if you have it on high in an hour, you're probably looking at around oh, probably 400. 350 to 400 milliliters. That's probably what I'd use in the hour. But I don't think I'd have this going for flat out for an hour. No way how hot this thing gets. To be honest with you, I think it's probably too strong for the caravan. But I'll just run it on a slower setting. But then I'm hearing, before you shut these off, run them on high for about 10, 15 minutes. So they don't soot up inside in the combustion chamber. But also make sure the exhaust in your intake are not restricted. Make sure they're Got full, make sure it can fully breathe, make sure it can fully suck in there and it can fully put out the exhaust. Just don't block it up. This thing, not blowing any smoke at all. So, none whatsoever. There is no smoke at all, guys. It's very hot with exhaust. I, I get my handle about there and that's it. It's, that's very hot. There's no black smoke at all. It's very, very clean. That's very hot now. Okay, so she's just over three amps. What's well, pulling in power. But that, guys, that is on high. I'll turn it down to the lowest. And we'll see what the amp draw is. It's dropping fan speed, and so does the amp. It's dropping down two amps. I don't think I'd run this flat out for very, very long in the caravan. It'd get, it'd get so hot inside. But I'll do a test when I put, put it in. When I actually install it in the caravan, I'll leave it running and I'll see how she goes. Okay, guys, that's sitting on just about an amp there now, just under an amp on the lower setting. Jeez, I'll tell you what, that's going down almost half an amp, almost. 0.6, so let's just say 0.6 of an amp. That is fairly quiet. I don't have a, um, a decibel reader at all. When you're sleeping in a hot night and you have the fan going flat out, it's a lot louder than what that is. That's pretty, that's pretty quiet, guys. Okay, guys, these things, when you connect them in, make sure, like this is only just connected temporarily, but make sure you have this connected on its own circuit. Don't connect it to say your, your reading lights in the caravan or or some other power because it's pretty important that these go through a, a shutdown process when you actually shut them off so when you hit the off button they go through like a shutdown process it's like a computer when you shut it down so I'll shut this off now push and hold the power button it's off okay now it's actually shutting down. So it's actually shutting down. It's just going through some process to shut off, like a computer, I guess. Apparently I've heard if you don't shut them down properly, you can burn the ECU out on. Apparently in here there's an ECU. That's quite warm here, around here. That's where the um, heat exchanger is, I think. That's quite warm there. 
So you need to give a bit of, so when you mount it, say you mount this under something or in something in a caravan, you need to give a bit of space. Like that's hot to touch, but it's not hot there. It's just like it's warm. I wouldn't say it's hot. So you need to give it a bit of space, a bit of space around the outside of the casing. And I'll check in the manual for that. I didn't have a look at that part of it. Still shutting down. It's louder now that I shut it down. It's doing something anyway. She jumped up to 1.3, 1 1 1.3, 1 1.4 amps now and shut down. So you could probably say one to two amps on average is a draw while using it. Well, the fridge would use more than that, so you can't draw, but anyway. Anyway, guys, I'll let that shut down now. So, guys, thanks for watching and Keep a look out for part two, subscribe, so you'll get to know when part two comes out, when I actually put this in. I'll film it as I put it in, go through the rigmarole, and yeah, guys, as I said, you can learn from my mistakes. If I make any mistakes, you can learn from them, so. But for now, I've got to get another filter, and I'll let you know what I come up with in the next part. Okay, guys, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.